This morning's Breakfast Bible Bites is on spiritual gifts and concerns the greatest gift that our Heavenly Father has given to redeemed humanity. In the previous seven studies, we've been looking at the gifts that God's Spirit uses to build the progress of the church in reaching the unsaved world by maturing its own parishioners, those who are born again and those who are indwelt and adopted into God's family. The focus of his ministry in each person is to restore our nature according to the manner that God created in the first man, Adam, who knew only good and godly things. When Adam's fall, with Adam's fall, along with the curse of mortality, Adam added to our nature the knowledge of evil, and that nature has been passed on to all of his offspring. This familiarity with evil has modified the very nature of all natural born humanity and has led us down the broad road to destruction. So we come to the finest gift that our Creator could have given any person. At the present moment, all natural born people are condemned to death apart from the gift of life made possible through Jesus, his reconciliation, restoration, and renewal. As we, already, as we should already know, the wages of sin is death, and all have sinned through our inherited sinful nature. Therefore, all are born on this earth, already condemned to eternal death. We read in Romans 1.18, For God's wrath is revealed from heaven against all godlessness and the unrighteousness of people. But our Creator, who is not willing for any to perish, made a way to restore willing humanity through his flesh-born Son, Jesus, who laid down his deity and was born of a woman. He grew in stature and became a man who would receive and appease God's wrath by his suffering and death on a cross, at least for those who will believe and accept his propitiatory gift. The human dilemma is stated in Romans 5.12. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, in this way death spared to all men because all have sinned. But the solution to our dilemma is recorded in Romans 5, 8 through 11. But God proves his own love for us, that in while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we have been declared righteous by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath of our creator? Or if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Appeasing God's wrath against us did nothing to manage humanity, to change humanity, the state of our creation, since our very nature has been corrupted. So God sent Christ's spirit to indwell each believer, and he brings to us a new nature. That is what our Bible means when Jesus states, we must be born again. Verse 11 of Romans 5 reads, And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received this reconciliation. However, newborn believers still possess a mind trained by our old nature, and that needs to be restored according to Romans 12, 2, which warns us, do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect in the will of God. Romans 8, 1 through 12, 1, 1 through 2 reads, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, because the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. The dialogue is continued in Romans 8, 6 through 9. Now the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mindset of the spirit is life and peace. The mindset of the flesh is hostile to God because it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it is unable to do so. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God lives in you, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. So the greatest gift of all is the gift of the Spirit of Christ himself, who renews our mind and makes us acceptable to come boldly into the Father's presence. This is the perfect gift of Pentecost.